So, what do we got? Who's on the list? Fire them at me. First suspect, Hedda Blumentop, proprietor of Mum's the Word Floral Shop. No, not her. Okay, moving on. Chuck Kinney, owner of Stuff a Bear. Ooh. I don't think so. Hello? Buenos dias, my friends. I am Eduardo Perez, owner of Salsa y Salsa restaurant across the mall. Now, open for breakfast. And you are? Gru, and this is Lucy, and we are closed. This is just going to take a moment, I am throwing a big single de my body, and I am going to need 200 of your best cupcakes. Decorated with... The Mexican flag. It looks something like this. What do you think? <gasps> oh, look away! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyway, I have to go. It's all settled. I pick him up next week. Have a good day. Come by if you get a chance, okay? <sighs> and welcome to the mall family. <gasps> What, what couldn't be? That guy looks exactly like a villain named El Macho from about 20 years ago. Uh, wow. He was ruthless. He was dangerous. And as the name implies, very macho. for pulling up high stuff using only his bare hands. Ah, but sadly, like all the greats, El Macho was gone too soon. He died in the most macho way possible, riding a shark with 250 pounds of dynamite strapped to his chest into the mouth of an active volcano. It was glorious. Yeah, sounds like El Macho's pretty dead. They never found the body. Oh, no. All that was ever retrieved was a pile of singed chest hair. But that face, it has got to be El Macho. Then what do you say you and I break into his restaurant tonight? Yes, that's good. Because I'm telling you, if anybody in this place has the PX-41 serum, it's him. Ha, 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 ha.